Using copying and pasting, I've decided where I want my different instruments to play. I want the violin to take the melody in the forte section, the flute in the piano section, and back to the violin in the forte section again, with the harmony played by the horn there. The accompaniment is first on the horn and trombone. In the piano it's horn and violin. And then back to trombone with flute in the second in the final forte of this first section of the piece. But as we can see we've got some problems. Because I just copied and pasted from a piano score, which can play almost any note we can think of, not all of the notes are possible on all the instruments. We're going to have to do some fixing up here. To do this, first I want to get rid of the piano so I can just focus on the flute, violin, horn and trombone. So I'm going to go to my instruments panel again by pressing I and delete the pianos. Select them with shift and click and delete from score. So Bayless will always ask you first, just in case you did have some music on them that you still want. Which in fact we do, but it's okay because I'll save this as a different file. Now I have just the instruments that I really want. Now I can start playing around with where I want the instruments. If we have a listen to it, we can see that where the problems are. Mostly this has to do with the range. Let's start by putting this into transposing score so that we can see where the horn is actually playing. Firstly, these notes are far too low. I'm going to use my own artistic license to make those a minimum instead of an octave jump. To me that makes much more sense, especially if someone else is playing that octave jump already, that being the trombone. We still want that octave jump, but this one's too low. So let's take this whole section up an octave instead of... So if we play these two bits here, P for play. That makes much more sense as a trombone. And I can do the same with this one because that D is also very low. These ones being even lower than the trombone in the horn Again, make no sense. We can check that with transposing score. It's far too low. So I'll select those with shift as well and take them up an octave. Control up. Let's hear that accompaniment. Shift and click and P. In fact, what I want to do is make that a minimum as well, and that. This will have nice effects um, with octaves. As you can see, those slurs do not automatically get deleted, and we have to get rid of them ourselves with backspace or delete. Let's try that once more. We can actually just select the start of what we want to hear, and so let us replay that. nice. The violin seems to be in a pretty good range. We can leave that there. The flute though is a bit low for a flute. Let's see what we can do with that. If we take it an octave up, hmm, maybe now it's a bit high. Let's come back to that and see if we can find another fix. This part though is certainly too low since it was taken from a bass clef part in the piano. Let's take that up two octaves. That looks a lot better. Still very low for the flute, since we have got those octave jumps. We can probably consider a similar thing that we did with the horn and make that a minimum.
this will probably also need to come up an octave from to match what we had here earlier. Over here we can see the horn is just too high. Let's try and take this down for the horn. Let's hear our end result. Escape to make sure nothing is selected and P. So far sounding very nice. There is one small change that I would like to make however, and that is because this flute is still quite low. The violin is certainly not going into its high range and is in fact going quite low also. The horn is now relatively low. It's only the trombone that is going high because we made it go high, because it was too low earlier. An easier fix to this would be to change the, the key of the entire thing and shift everyone up higher. There's an easy way to do this by going to Note Input, Transpose. It will ask if we want to do this to the whole score or just to a certain part. We want to do it to the whole score. We're in G minor, so let's take this up a minor, a major third, to B minor. The trombone is starting to look a bit high now, so we can take those down again. Let's see if this works better for our current set of instruments. Everyone is pl playing in a comfortable range and it really has a nice sound now. <laughs> 